Hello there and welcome to ADCraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Yakushiji West Pagoda in your Minecraft world, including all materials and everything you'll need to get this built. So don't go anywhere. First, let's take a look at those materials you'll need. So pause the video here to check out everything. The build itself will fit within a 27 by 27 area, but it is very tall. So you'll need to make sure that you leave at least 75 blocks for the height. Step one is to lay out the pillars for the first floor. And this is gonna be one in the corner here. Then we're gonna skip two and then have another pillar. Skip two and have another pillar. Leave three gap, this is gonna be the doorway. And place the pillar, skip two, a pillar, skip two and get to the final pillar. This will give us 17 right the way across here between the two corners. And this is gonna be a square. So they're gonna carry this in 17 in each direction. Just on the inside of this, we're also gonna place a pillar where these two blocks intersect. So there's a two gap from the wall there. These edge ones need to be brought up to seven high total. These inner ones need to come up to 13 high total. And then finally, in the very center, we've got the central column that's gonna take us up to the full height of the actual building itself, not including the roof and the topper. This one goes up to the massive height of 44 blocks. So this is gonna be a 44 block high pillar and this is all using the stripped acacia wood. With all of those pillars set out and going upwards towards the middle we're going to add some cross beams. So the first one we're going to count up one two three four and on the fifth block we're going to bring a cross beam that's going to come right the way across this build and this is going to go all the way around the outside as well so I'll just show you on one side. Above that we're going to have another beam that comes across which is right at the very top so there'll be one gap in between these and this comes right the way across the build and around the edges as well. We're also going to connect up at this level to these inner pillars. So it'll connect up like this. Uh, and from the inner pillars, we're going to bring those at the same level together and connect those up like so. So that'll connect right the way across like this, but on each of the sides and get that one as well. Then level with these beams at the front, we are going to build these up to the same height as this 13 and do that on both of these. Then we're going to add one more set of cross beams, which are going to leave two gap. And then on the third block, come across on this interior section, just like so. So do that all the way around. To fill in the walls, we're going to start by placing a line of white concrete going across at the ground level, excluding the doorway, of course, just going right the way across. We're going to have another line coming across just in this gap before the top. And that is going to go over the doorway as well, just like so. We're going to fill in all of this gap on the recessed piece here, right the way to the top, all the way across as well. And then in this area in between the two sections, we're going to use some birch slabs and these are going to go at the top and just be filling in all of this gap. And then for the front here, we're going to place a line of stairs facing into the build just above the white concrete. On top of that, we are going to shift click ourselves some trapdoors, and these are the walk trapdoors, which we're going to close into these gaps like so. And then we're going to finish with a doorway. So the doorway, we are going to start by coming inside and placing three doors, one against this side, one against this side, and one in the middle. And then we'll need to come out of the build and shift click on top of the door to place two lines of the acacia trap doors. And then make sure that you do that on all of the sides. Moving up for the next layers, we're gonna start by building each of these four pillars up an additional eight blocks. Once we've done that, we're gonna come inside the build and we're gonna place some temporary blocks. We're gonna place one in this corner, one just inside this piece of wood one here and one in the other corner and we're going to then place some more of the stripped acacia logs up and it's going to be 13 high we can then get rid of the temporary blocks at the bottom here and once we've done that we're going to come around to the outside and you'll have something that looks like this we're now going to re remove some of these pieces of wood so we are going to take out two at each of the edges like this. We're going to take out three in the middle like so. 
Then at the level of this third one, we're going to start taking out some blocks and we're going to go one block. So there's going to be an overlap of one block here. Once we've done that, we're going to place some cross beams in. The first ones are going to be at the bottom here, like this. We're then going to place a set of cross beams at the top and some on the inside at that same level. We're then going to place some just beneath that so there's one gap. And finally some here, we're going to leave one gap and fill this in across the top. With that repeated on the four sides, we're now going to fill in some of this with the concrete. So there's going to be concrete all the way along in the bottom section here. There's going to be a line of concrete going across there. This is going to be a doorway and a line going across there. So two concrete, fill in this gap as well. And then we're going to fill in this section just above with the concrete all the way around. Next, we're adding some detailing to the outside of these. And we're going to do that by placing some upside down acacia stairs on each one of these pillars. And that's level with the concrete oh, and that will go all the way around the side. And then using a temporary block, we're going to place one right on the corner. So that's diagonally coming out from the corner, which is just a full acacia block like this. Now for the next section, we're going to come one block beneath here at the top and we're going to place ourselves some stairs going across. Then we're going to place ourselves another set of stairs coming out like this. In between these stairs, we're going to link these up where we can. So we've got these little archways. We'll do that at the two sides first of all. And then in the middle, we're going to do that, but with a slab just like this. Now underneath, we're going to, going to in this middle stair, we're going to place outward facing stair. So it's out facing that way, the back of it facing this edge. We're going to do that all the way across. And once we've done that, we're going to place ourselves a slab on the side. So obviously this will be done on each of the different sides. A slab on the side here as well. Now we are going to have to place ourselves a temporary block. So I'll just use some white concrete. We'll come out like this. Because once we've placed the temporary block, we're actually going to place ourselves another stair coming up along like so. And then we just remove the temporary blocks and continue this all the way around the build. Moving on, we're going to add a stair on each of these pillars going across like so. We're then going to add another stair just underneath and a stair on top of that first one to give us this triangular look on each of these beams. Then as we did before, we're going to curve that one in to the middle. We're going to curve this one in like so to give this little archway. And in this middle one, we'll just place a slab. We're then going to fill this outwards using some slabs so that we've got a walkway that's going to be too wide. And on the corner, we'll just curve that round using another slab, which will connect onto the other sides like so. Moving up to this next level, we are going to place on this block here, level with the concrete, a stair here. Then again, we need some temporary blocks, so we'll just come out this way. And then underneath here, we're going to have a stair facing outwards. Above that, we do the same as we did below, which is bringing in one step down, having two stairs coming out here, here and here. Then with some stairs curving round, so we get the archway, making sure we get them in the right place like so. And a stair here and here. But this time we're just going to place a slab in the middle. And in this underneath, we are then again going to place ourselves an upside down stair facing outwards. So the back is facing the edge of the build. We're going to place ourselves a slab on the edge here. And then we're going to place a temporary block above so that we can have something to place against. And place one more upside down stair. Now with this space, it's given us the room that we can place in ourselves some of these warp trap doors and we can come inside and place three doors again. So a door here, a door here and a door in the middle and do this all the way around the build. Now for the next layer, we repeat what we did on these two. So we're going to place ourselves some temporary blocks and this time though, we're going to come in one block. So these ones are going to line up the pillars on the inside. We're going to take the ones on the outside up 
by eight blocks. And we're gonna take these inner blocks that we've got these temporary ones in place for up 13. Now that we've done that, we're gonna take out some of these blocks again. So we'll take out the two at either side, take out the three in the middle like this. And then we're going to take out the blocks above this, uh, but leaving the top level like this. Now for the cross beams, there's going to be one at the bottom. Just like so, there's going to be one at the top of this section. Drop a block, so leave a gap, and then do another one coming right the way across like this. And then there's going to be one, one here, leave a gap. And then place this coming across. Next, we'll fill in these areas with the concrete. So there's going to be concrete in these blocks. At the two sides here, right the way across the top. And then in this section as well, filling all of the gaps. And then repeat this all the way around. One more thing to do whilst you're completing this round is actually add in a line of the acacia blocks here like we did on the layer beneath that will just fill these in as well. So that is on the inside parallel with this section here, the top section. Now we're going to make the next walkway and that is going to be the triangle of upside down stairs like so going across on each of these pillars. And within these, we're gonna then use some acacia slabs to fill in the gaps. And that's just gonna link around the corner as well, so that when you do build it round, it will all match up. Now coming up to this section, we're gonna place a line of upside down stairs here on these pillars. And then using some more temporary blocks, we're gonna place some more upside down stairs, but facing the other direction. For this top section, we're going to repeat what we've done beneath, which is going to be having a set of stairs coming out there with some slabs in between, a further set of stairs coming out like this, and the slab on the corner just at the bottom of the block. Then these are the ones that we're going to come underneath and facing away from our build, place the upside down stairs on those blocks. We're also then going to use some more temporary blocks here so that we've got something that we can place the final set of upside down stairs against and have this now repeated all the way round. Before we cap the structure off and add a roof, we're gonna add some floors in and the floors are gonna happen with each of the transitions here. So the first one is gonna happen at the first transition and we're gonna use the stripped acacia logs. And we're gonna create a uh, big cross in this. So it's gonna be coming across both of these directions from where these pillars are running up the actual building itself. Basically on all of the floors, we're gonna be leaving a full gap all the way around this central pillar so that we can traverse up and down the pagoda itself. And once we've done this, and I will show you on this floor, but not necessarily on the rest of them, we will then fill in the outside section with some birch slabs, and these are gonna to be top slabs. Before we move on, we're then just simply going to add some lanterns in at these cross sections here. And that should light up everything that we need with the new spawning mechanics downstairs. Moving up to the next level, as you can see, this is quite a narrow level, so we're going to do something a bit different here. But the start of it is the same. We're going to have the same acacia logs coming across like so and connecting up. And that's going to be in line with the one block all the way around this. Once we've done this, we're going to add our birch in again. And then that's when the different stuff starts to happen. So I'll just finish this off. Now we're going to take some birch trapdoors and we're going to run these around the edge like so. And before we move up again, place some lanterns so we can light the floor beneath. And here, now we're going to use some of the stripped birch to create some 
flooring on this section. So the strip birch is then going to come in and fill in this gap, which will leave us with a nice overhang here so we can see the transition there between the different floors and just have this coming in a single direction down two of the sides and then coming across like so and it looks a bit like tatami mats for that then basically we're going to repeat this floor these different floor patterns depending on whether it's a big floor or a narrow floor all the way up the build once we get to the very top of the build we're simply going to use a temporary block here and repeat the same all the way on the top but obviously we don't need to get any higher so we're just going to fill all of this gap in with some of the birch like so also whilst we're up here we can add the doors and the windows to this top level that we've built As you can see, I've just added a little spiral staircase using some slabs all the way around the central pillar, which should allow you to get up and down the pagoda. But before we move on to the roof itself, we're just going to do the fencing around here. So we're going to start by placing a fence here and a fence next to the doorway section and obviously do this all the way around. And then the rest of the blocks are going to be fence gates and all of these are in acacia. So we're going to do that here and then on the one above, it's exactly the same idea so you've got a fence here and a fence next to the door on either side and then we've got fence gates coming around like so and that is just so they don't connect up to the walls apart from where you want them to which is on these two corners but yeah fill in the fences all the way around now we're going to be starting the roofs and these roofs are all going to follow the same patterns but in alternating floors so the first floor will be the same as the floor up here so basically any floor that's got a window will have the same roof above it now the first one we're going to start and i'll show you down here is going to be built in stages first of all i'll build the flat bit then i'll show you how to do the corners because they're a bit more complicated and the first pattern we're going to be using is to actually place some of the deep slate tiles across like so and this is going to be on the bottom of the block touching the side here next to that we can then start placing some deep slate blocks and these, again these are the tile blocks coming across like so then we're going to go down again with another set of slabs like this then here we're going to have another set of slabs against this side just like that and here we're going to go for another set of slabs again all of these are in fact going to be sets of slabs but with these slabs we need to place them uh, to have like a temporary block there and these ones are going to be too wide so these are going to be the last ones that we're going to do on this section and bring these across like this so what we're going to have is one two three four sets of single slabs and then a double slab so we're going to do that firstly all the way around we're going to do exactly the same thing like i said here uh, but the difference is this one is going to start just here so we're always going to leave half a block of concrete beneath this line and ready for the next roof and we're just going to at first go in between the two uprights themselves so again this one's going to come down with a slab here going to have another slab sticking out like this another one sticking out like this and a final slab uh, which will be double like so and this is going to come all the way across and then just repeat exactly the same thing here slabs on top and then stepping our way down with four sets of slabs that are single and then one set that is double and if you've done it right then you should have slabs against this block and also slabs on top of this block the edge one of these stairs now the other three roofs are going to be very similar to these but not exactly the same so where these have got one two three four 
of the steps down before it goes to a double step down. These also have four, but then they have two of these double steps. And what I'll do is I'll show you. So we're gonna start here, just beneath these stairs and along against this wall. We're gonna place a line of full blocks. And then after that, we're gonna be using slabs for the rest of the time. We're gonna build out a line of slabs here. Then I'll just get these up to the right level. You may need some temporary blocks when you're putting these together like I have. Uh, now also, as with the above, you'll know you're in the right place if you've got to the very edge of this block and the slabs are going both on top of and against the edge of this block, like so. And we're going to build out, this is the four layers that we've got normally and then like before, where we get to the edge of this block, we've got the first of the double layers and that'll come out. And here we will definitely need some temporary blocks. So we can bring this out like this, get rid of those. And then we've got another double width layer coming right the way across the build like this. Now you'll know with this, if you've got to the right point, if when you look down, this secondary roof overhangs the roof beneath it by one block exactly and that's exactly that's what we're going for each of these roofs is stepped so you've got a slight stepping out but then a stepping in as well which gives a really nice effect so that's how that one goes like you can see we've got the two flat bits at the bottom and then the four going up here is literally exactly the same we're going to start with a line just beneath these uh, just beneath these stairs and come out in exactly the same way and that'll come out one block past this roof on the top we're doing exactly the same but here we're just simply going to start against this top set of the acacia logs and we're going to come out from here and then that's going to allow us to start bringing these down like this now we've got all the flat bits all the way around we're going to do the corners and again the corners are slightly different between this layer and the next layer and every alternate layer so i will do the bottom one first and first of all, we're going to start with the deep slate slabs, the tiles, and we're going to come out three more and then three more on the next one. We're then going to do the same here and that will bring us level with this acacia uh, and we'll bring that out like so. Then there's going to be two here and two here Then switch into the full blocks, one here and one here. And that'll leave us some holes and we're going to use some polished deep slate to fill those holes. And each of these blocks we want to place wants to be a half block higher than the deep slate tiles so we'll put that in there we'll put one of these in here so we can put a deep slate slab on top then we're going to go for a full block and then we're going to go for a slab once we get to this slab this is when the roof is start going to start to flick up so we go back to the deep slate tiles come out with two here and two here we're going to place a deep slate a polished deep slate slab here with a wall on top of it and then we're going to go one more of the tiles and now we're going to use a temporary block just like this to bring the final polished tile up so you get that little flick up at the end so repeat this all the way around and then on each of the alternate floors so this floor the next floor and this last but one floor now for the gaps that we've got in these corners we're going to come down to this level and we're going to take the deep slate tiles out one two three four so that's going to be four coming out on this level, four on this level as well. And then we're going to be stepping in. So this is going to be three, then two, and then one. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. One, two, three, four, and then bring this out to the same level like so. Then three, two, and finally one. Exactly the same as we did before. We will be wanting to make sure we are sticking up by half a slab so on this one because it is a full slab we'll need to put a slab on top and then at that point we can go with a full block here and here and then a slab with another slab on top here once we get to this corner we are going to place a double slab like this we're going to then have one more of these coming round another double slab like so and at this point this is where the roof starts to move upwards so here we're going to come out like this on those two sides and again at this point we're going to have a slab like this 
with a polished deep slate wall on. We're gonna have a final deep slate tile here and then just top it off for the flick up at the corner here. So on these ones, we've got two blocks before the end flick. On these ones, we end up with three blocks. So that's how you know that you've got the right, the right level. And we'll repeat that on this side and all of the other corners that are missing. Now that we've finished the roof corners, we're gonna finish off the roof top here and work on the spire itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is check that we've got the right number, which should be four, one, two, three, four, showing of this. Then on top of these acacia, we're gonna use the stripped oak logs and we're gonna go up 15. At the bottom here, we are then going to use some stripped oak wood, which is the one with all the sides, to run all the way round this section here, just like so. And once we've done that, I'll just turn that the right way around, we're gonna then take some of the oak stairs and we're gonna run those all the way around to give us a nice edge. And with that done, we're gonna use the wood again to just fill in the gaps that we've got here, like this in the middle and finally do that one. Now we're back to the stairs. We're gonna have upside down stairs going all the way around in a circle, which will be eight of those, and then eight right way upstairs going on top to form this kind of bobble section going around. Once we've got that done, we're gonna use some oak signs all the way around the edge of this. With the oak signs in place, we're then going to take some of the oak trapdoors and place a line of those on the bottom of the block just sticking out like this. And then we're going to have another set of these coming out the top and we're going to have four coming out like this. So we're not going to have the corners on this one. We are going to have the corners up here. So you'll need to shift click into the other ones of the trapdoors to make sure that those are in the right places. We're now going to look at the spire itself and coming up here, we're going to skip this block because we can't place anything there anyway. Skip this block and then here we're going to start placing some fence gates all the way around like this. Once we've got the fence gates, we'll need to shift click and add in the corners using some fences. And we're going to repeat this up every other block until we get right near the top. So it should finish one block beneath the top. So that block should be bare. And it's in fact two blocks that should be bare. Now we're gonna finish off the spire and we're gonna do that first of all with seven of the sandstone walls. On top of that, we'll place a stripped oak log, two more sandstone walls, another stripped oak log, two of the oak fences uh, on top of each other that is. And then finally two iron bars like so, and that gets us up to the right height. We're not quite done with this yet though. So we're gonna use some temporary blocks. I'll just use the oak because I've got it here and place a block all the way around here, then skip a block and do the same again. And this is just so we can place the iron bars in the right place. So we're then gonna place some iron bars coming around all of these edges, just so it all connects up. And once we've done that, we're gonna take out the oak logs that we've got here as the temporary blocks and connect these up on the corners like so. And then above this, we're gonna again leave one gap. And this time we're just gonna have this surrounded with iron bars all the way round. And then we're gonna connect up at the corners here. Now to finish off the build, it's just the exterior decoration and the underside of the roofs to finish. And there's three different styles of this. There's the ground floor, there's the three floors that look like this, and then there's the two floors that look like this. So I'll go through each of them in order and just repeat them on each and every floor. So for this one, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna replace this block in front of the doorway. We're gonna put ourselves a, uh, an acacia, stripped acacia there with an acacia slab in front of that. And we're gonna hang ourselves a lantern there. We're also gonna hang a lantern on either one of these two flicky up bits at the edge. Now in between the different stairs, we're gonna add ourselves some acacia trapdoors. And on the front of each of these stairs, we're gonna put a birch sign. Now the last thing on this level is to put some birch buttons on any of the intersections where 
the, oak, the acacia actually links up. First thing we're going to do is put some lanterns in place. So we're going to put some at the corners here. We're going to put some just outside each of these uh, last of the uh, stairs that face that way. One in the middle as well. One just outside here. I'm just putting those ones in because that will be the starting point for the next line and then one here. So you should have one, two, three, four, five visible on each of these sides. Next, we're going to take some acacia stairs and place a stair here and a stair here with a slab just in next to those. And that will kind of connect those up. We then also want to take out these two and place full blocks in their place. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I'll take these out and put full blocks in. And then we're also going to put the stairs in that are going to be facing out in both of these directions with a slab in just inside like that. Now we're going to take a lot of the trapdoors. So we're going to firstly place a trapdoor in the corner here, then a trapdoor in just behind this, uh, not that, on this side and on this side. Then trapdoors filling this gap and filling this gap all the way around the lantern. And then again, on this side, we've got trapdoors there and there and one here to finish that off. And lastly, we're going to bring out some more of the trapdoors coming out against these slabs to connect up as some rafters finally coming through. That's the rafter bit finished. We also have some further decoration to go. So we've got these and what we are going to be doing is placing some buttons on each of the backs of the stairs that are sticking out. And then we've got ourselves some birch signs to just go on the intersections for this level. Finally, for these balcony levels, we are going to start by using the lanterns again. So there's a lantern here, lantern here, I'll pop one there as well. And one in the middle, just above the doorway and same on the other side here. And then one finally at this corner. We're going to take out this slab again and we're going to place two of the full blocks. And take out the one on the other side and place two of the full acacia blocks again. And then we're going to start using some of these uh, trapdoors. So we're going to place a trapdoor here trapdoors in these gaps just behind where the lantern would be like so and then we're going to place one trapdoor on each of these rather than two to bring it out level with this in terms of decoration on this section we are going to have some of the acacia signs running in the little gap in between these stairs just there we're also going to have ourselves some buttons here and we are finally going to finish this off by some of the birch signs just on the corners here like so. And that, once you've repeated that on your other floor and done that all the way around, will be your completed build. With the build now finished, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel. And hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all next time on AD Craft. Bye.